When it comes to TVs, I've always been an Android TV user. However, I recently tried out Apple's tvOS and it's an altogether different experience. I mean, coming from Android TV, it's a huge difference. Honestly, after watching this video, you will want to try out Apple TV. See, I'm going to compare tvOS versus Android TV in terms of search, UI, multitasking, features, etc. And if you are an Android TV user, you need to watch this video very carefully. Trust me. So first of all, this is the Android TV or the new Google TV home screen. This has rolled out to older Android TVs too. So you must be familiar with it. Now there are these different tabs and there are these recommendations from a few apps and there's also this profile button to quickly go to the notification center, go to settings, etc. Now the new Android TV UI is definitely more modern, but I know a lot of people feel that the new UI is a lot more cluttered with all the recommendations. This is where the Apple TV UI feels a lot more simple. This is the Apple TV OS home screen and there are no tabs here, just this one page with the apps right here and the recommendations are based on the app you are on at the moment. This is nice, you can even create folders here easily. Now, Apple TV also has this panel where you can add different users. I mean, Google is said to be bringing in user accounts, but I'm not sure it'll come to older Android TVs. Plus, I love how seamless the user adding process is on tvOS. I can just click on add and nearby iPhone users will get a prompt. They can just enter the pin and that's it. The user is added. This is pretty cool. Now the home screen is kind of subjective, but when it comes to the UI elements, be it the media player or the search, that's where tvOS has a huge advantage over Android TV. Let me show you. So you know how apps on Android TV have their own media playback UI. For example, Netflix has subtitles and language options at the bottom here. Hotstar has these options in the top right. Prime Video has it somewhere in between. Yeah, it's super confusing. And if you've used an Android TV, you'd know that it gets kind of annoying. Apple TV OS, on the other hand, has a universal media player for most apps. Here's Netflix and I can swipe down from the top to get this panel with info, subtitles, etc. Now I'm in Prime Video and once again you can see the same UI for media controls. Here's Hotstar and again, this is awesome if you ask me. And here there's this reduced loud sounds option which is super useful. You know how you're watching a movie and suddenly there's an action scene and it gets super loud, it's annoying. This option makes sure that there's no sudden jump in the volume and it actually works really well. Another area where I like the Apple TV OS's UI is the search in apps. I mean, if you've used an Android TV, you'd know how confusing it gets. So on Android TV, there's no voice search in Prime Video, Netflix, or an app like Sony Live. So you have to type in, which you know is annoying. Some apps like Hotstar Disney Plus have their own voice search feature, which isn't as good as Google's. Now you can use Google Assistant to search in some apps like Netflix, but like I said, only some apps support this. Majority don't support this. Also, if you are in the search section in some apps, say Prime Video, and you press the Google Assistant button, it opens up Google Assistant in a separate different UI, and it actually does not search inside the app, it's separate. On tvOS, things are again better. Like the media player, the search in tvOS looks the same in most apps like this, and actually works really well. You can press hold on the Siri button to do a voice search in the app and this works in all popular apps I have tried as you can see. And unlike what I was expecting, the recognition, the dictation is pretty good. Also for some reason, if you don't want to use the voice, you can just move to the search bar and your iPhone will get a notification like this so you can just quickly type it from your phone. This is especially useful when you need to log in and you need to enter your password. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, this is one feature that I badly need on Android TV. You guys also want these features on Android TV? Make sure to comment down below. The iPhones also have this remote in the control center where you get all the functions from the remote. And unlike the Android TV remote app from the past, this is lag free and nice. I know Google TV is getting a new remote, but again, I don't think that will come to most Android TVs out there. Moving on to multitasking. First up, Android TVs don't have multitasking. Some manufacturers like OnePlus brought their own take on multitasking via their apps on Android phones. But let's be honest, there's no proper multitasking on Android TVs. On Android TV, if you want to switch apps, you go to the home screen and launch an app. And there's no way to quickly go to the last app. In fact, if you go to the last app you're using, it'll sometimes open up where you left off. And sometimes it'll just reload the app all over again. On tvOS, you get a proper multitasking system you have seen on the iPhones. I can just double click on the TV button and you get the recent screen with all the apps you have opened just like you do on the iPhones. As you can see, there are so many apps open in the background. You can even close apps by swiping up on the touchpad on the remote. Yeah, this is very cool. 
I mean, you can open the multitasking screen anywhere and switch between apps so easily and so quickly and everything opens up where you left off. No reloading everywhere. I mean, if you're playing something, it'll open up in the play without any lag, no reloading or anything. So remotes aren't a part of the OS, but they are very important when it comes to the overall experience. And Android TV remotes, they have been kind of fine. I like the dedicated buttons for things like Netflix, Prime Video, etc. on Android TV remotes. But look at the Apple TV remote, it's beautiful and the best thing about this remote is this whole touch enabled click pad. I mean it works for clicks, but it also works as a proper touch pad so you can use swipe gestures to move around and it's super responsive. I mean I can just slide my thumb and see the animation on the app icon, yeah it's super responsive. Even the outer ring has a circular gesture to forward and rewind and yeah it's very very cool, you just have to experience it to believe it. Now I know Apple TV is expensive and thus the very cool remote, but I would like to see more manufacturers try out remotes like this on Android TV devices. So after having used the Apple TV OS on the Apple TV, I can tell you that Apple's TV OS is far, far, far better than Android TV. TV OS is just way more feature rich, it's more unified in terms of UI, gets updates for a long long time, I mean the Apple TV HD from 2015 is still getting updates. Plus TV OS brings way better performance, it's just so snappy and smooth there is absolutely no lag which is not something you can say about any Android TV. I know the Apple TV is expensive at 18k but no matter which Android TV you use, be it a budget Android TV, a premium Android TV or even an Android TV stick. The experience is always the same. There's lag, there's delay, there's crashes, there's no major Android updates and when updates arrive they bring bloatware. It's crazy. It's like Google's not even trying. See my point is smart TVs penetration is increasing day by day. I mean a lot of people are buying smart TVs these days especially Android TVs. So it's high time Google took Android TV more seriously. I mean they started taking tablets more seriously with Android 12 L so they can do the same with Android TV. Hit like if you want Apple TV features in Android TV and comment below your experience with smart TVs, Android TVs, comment down below. Also subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos and make sure to hit the bell icon down below because we have some really cool videos lined up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. So Lupesh gave me this 3000 rupee laptop cleaner so let's see if it works. So for 3000